Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to reprogram BIOS chips on laptops that don't turn on, for instance. So, first all you will need is this kind of reprogrammer. You can order on AliExpress. I might add links in the video below. But don't promise. So, order this. This is all you need. Then, of course, you need a motherboard with BIOS problem. You need to locate the BIOS chip, which on this model is here. And the first step is desoldering it. You need a reflow station like this. You can try this with the soldering iron, but it's much easier with this tool. So simply heat it up. Solder melt. It may take some while. There you go, it's free. We don't need the motherboard. Take two, make sure where is the little dot here. The dot on the chip should align just like so. And now we solder in it here. Same process. There we go. And solder nodes. Pull it down. So and now I'll show you what, what kind of program do you need. Next step, so you take our tool, plug it in. A USB port. So computer accepts it. Let's see. Mm -hmm. A bit slow because many things are open on it. So, the device manager. Ports. Alrighty. So, this is the program. You can find it by the name of the tool. This is the driver, this is the first thing you'll install so the computer knows what the hell it is. And what it does, so but I think you already know what drivers are. This is the program itself. So, first thing, see that device is connected. If it says red not connected, you uh, haven't soldered the chip right. So let's detect it. Uh, these Eon chips doesn't detect automatically, so you know by the name of the chip. Yeah, what kind of chip it is so it's 16 bit so that's what we find here similar Here it is. So. so first thing, let's read the chip. Mm -hmm. Chip is red. So that means it's working. So that's fine. So this is the bias in hex format, hex decimal or whatever it's called. So not really important for us right now. So. First thing you do before you even start this is save it. You read it, you save, you make a backup copy just in case. Yeah. 
because you're going to rip power on chip and you will lose the data in it. So you just simply make a backup copy just to be sure if your new BIOS you flash on it doesn't work. So then you erase the chip. Because uh, from experience what I f found is that if you just straight write the new BIOS on the chip without erasing it, erasing it you don't have problems or it says they're incompatible or something like that. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So but just to be sure, erase it. And now we open the backup, but this could be your new BIOS file. And press the button program. So it's not going now going to write this. This in this case the old BIOS back on the chip, but this might help you as well. If there is a problem with it. <laughs> but of course it's better to use downloaded dump somebody made you know, of known working BIOS and just put it on back in because at this time I don't need to get computer working I'm just showing you how to do this mm -hmm. of course it's going to take some while for it to write Pause this. Now it's writing, now it's checking. This is written everything correctly. This is much faster, of course, than just reading. If everything's alright, you'll get a message like this. Just to put this chip back on the motherboard. So. Again, we heat it up to desolder it. The second time should be a bit easier. Be careful not to rip it off, just slightly check it so it's off. I'll take the motherboard. And we're gonna put some flux. Make sure the solder joints are all right. Make sure again that the little dots on the chip and on the motherboard line up so that you solder it correctly. There might be some problems if you don't. And again, just heat it up until the solder melts. Just like so. Let it cool down. Solder on. Let it cool down. And turn on computer, check whether it helped. So, I hope you learned something today. And if you like it, like. If you want to see more, subscribe. So, thanks for watching.